questions like this, you need to make use of a cost diagram. So this is the sin quadrant, tan and cos, and this is 180 minus x, 180 plus x, and 360 minus x. Okay, so 180 plus x is here, and it's where tan is positive. So this part here just becomes tan x, then for the cos one, it's just going to become cos x, then sin x. Now cos 90 plus is a co-function. Remember guys, there are four co-functions. Write them down if you need to. Here they are. That's the first one, the next one, and then this last one always has a negative. It's quite a weird one. So that's the one we have. So that's going to be negative sin x. And then there's a minus over here, so look out for that. And then it's just cos squared x. There's nothing we can really do there. So that's just going to be cos squared x. Okay, so now we can just go through and simplify a bit more. We know that tan is sin over cos, and then there's still that times cos there. At the bottom, we're going to have, I'm going to bring this negative to the front. So we're going to have negative sin x times sin x. And then this is not a times, there's a minus there. So we specifically make it a minus. There we go. Okay, in the next step, this part can cancel. And so we end up with sin x over negative sin squared x minus cos squared x. Please remember that you cannot cancel like this because there is more than one term at the bottom. But what you should almost start to realize is that this is almost an identity of ours. So what we can do is you take out a negative as a common factor and you're going to be left with sin squared x plus cos squared x. Now sin squared x plus cos squared x is 1. And so we're going to end up with sin x over negative 1, which is the same as negative sin x.